So starting off our first player, we're going to start with Shohei Otani, one of the more interesting ones. Because a lot of people are saying that he's just a lock to go diamond, which if you look at the indicator in the bottom left, it is a 47%, a bit higher because he is Showtime. He is the name of the game. He is the interesting player that everybody loves. So maybe it improves MLB The Show sales or something if they make Showtime a diamond. But what I really want to get into is that He's a starting pitcher, so they're going to grade him based on that alone. Just because he has 100 power and 83 power versus right and left has no effect on his overall whatsoever. It is his pitching ability. So if we're going to get into that. Um, since his last update, he's had two starts, 11 innings pitched, 10 hits, 3 earned runs, 1 home run, 3 walks, and 13 strikeouts. So he's, he can't really improve on his 99 hits per 9. That might go down if anything. His K's per nine, I think that stays the same. His walks per nine is a 38. That is really where he's gonna have to make the jump to make a diamond. Other than that, I think his 65 home runs per nine, that really doesn't get a change. Um, I really don't see much room for improvement for Shohei Otani. I don't think his control from 66 goes up. I don't think they touch that really. Since last update, Jose Altuve, Went from an 82 to an 83 since June 9th. The cutoff for last update, he's had seven home runs. Definitely going to be a boost to his power, knowing he's a contact hitter. 14 runs. He's maintained his batting average during this period of time, going from a 293 to a two, from a 293 to a 296. His on-base percentage has actually been the same since June 9th to today, and his slugging has gone from a 466 to a 520 big jump gonna be definitely upgrading his power but the big issue for Altuve ever reaching a diamond which we have him at 69% nice is that he just has a bronze fielding he needs a fielding boost maybe not I think that would be very helpful any fielding boost he gets would make his percent skyrocket which is not expected to for any player to ever get a fielding boost in this game for all you Astros haters, it is not looking good for you. Last update, Correa went from an 82 to an 84, putting him right on the brink of uh, becoming a diamond. Maybe you guys hate him less if you look at the video right here. It gives uh, batting gloves to a fan. But really, since June 9th, he's had three home runs, improved his batting average from a 290 to a 296 on base percentage from a 375 to a 393, and slugging from 500 to 530. He hasn't walked or struck out like crazy, but if you look at it more, his on-base percentage is up just a bit more, so there's going to be a bump to the on-base percentage, but what really is the takeaway here is he's playing consistently. There should definitely be an upgrade to his uh, something in there, something in his hitting to uh, award him for playing like a diamond, because that's what he's been doing. He's been playing like one. Now to talk about Craig Kimbrell. He's been playing lights out this year. Last update, he went from an 82 to an 84 since June 9th. He's appeared six times, and in those six appearances, he's had 5.1 innings pitched, zero hits, one walk, eight strikeouts, lowering his batting average from a 118 to a 102, whip from a 72 to a 65, six out of six on his save percentages, and has a 43 balls per nine, definitely gonna go up along with his home runs per nine at 60 and his clutch at 88. Less likely is his 109 hits per nine and 102 Ks per nine, but we should see an upgrade in those lesser departments. Now for Marcus Seaman, who's been on my watch list. He's one of those players I'd like you guys to hold because right now he's sitting at an 84 overall. So it can only take one good week or two good weeks from him to really break a plus one overall and make it to uh, 85. Since June 9th, he's had five home runs, five walks, 12 hits, 11 runs. And right now, he's sitting at an 83 contact rate, 80 power rate. So he might see just a bit of a boost in those areas. 62 contact left and 70 contact left. I don't know if we see a boost in those areas because we don't really see too many left-handers in the MLB. So over a two-week period, we not, might not see a big jump. 54 vision. He does have those five walks over a two-week period. I think the vision might go up just maybe two or three points at most. 
Um, and that's really where we should see an improvement in his power and contact versus right, plus his vision, if anything at all. Man, Jared Walsh is a big, big wild card for you guys. If you guys don't know the name of the game, he's only hitting righties. He has 97 contact right and 88 power right, so he needs to start hitting lefties if he has any chance of going diamond. You know, it's not about how many home runs he hits in a certain period of time. It's that if he's hitting well against lefties for a good two weeks, that's the name of the game. Since June 9th, he's had 42 at-bats, 5 home runs, 11 RBIs, 4 walks, 19 strikeouts. So his 58 vision might go down, in fact. He, over this period of time, he's had a 261 batting average, 320 on-base percentage, and 674 slugging. Pretty good, I like that slugging. That's nearly a thousand OPS. So I think he stays the same or goes up just a tad bit at his 84 currently. Not enough to break 85 in my opinion, but a great hold. Starling Marte, one of the more interesting ones on this list because he actually has a better fielding badge than his hitting badge from a gold to a silver. In the four fielding categories, he has a 70, 89, 73, and 71. So pretty good there. On his hitting though, he has an 83 and 75 contact, a power of 63 and 51, which is really where his weakness is. Since June 9th, he's had one home run, five RBIs, six walks, four stolen bases. So he might see a bit of a boost to his 75 steal, maybe, maybe not, in 44 plate appearances. And during this period of time, he's had 270 batting average, a 378 on base percentage and a 386 slugging percentage so he's not slugging great for his batting average but hey he's getting the job done he's getting on base Cedric Mullins the only silver on this list which is practically a lock for him to go gold at a 96 percent but interesting enough I want to talk about something that nobody's talking about is that he is a gold hitter with a common fielding badge with a 72 fielding, 40 arm strength, 40 arm accuracy, and 73 reaction. If he's ever going to make diamond, in my opinion, he has to start being able to field better. He's definitely going to make a diamond hitting badge, but he has to start fielding. He's only had one error this year in center field with three assists, and he doesn't have a negative defensive run saved. He's sitting at a zero according to baseball reference, but a zero is definitely not des worth deserving a common. He should be getting an upgrade in that department soon. And you guys just saw earlier in that clip, he's a web gem player in that outfield. You might see a bit more in that reaction and fielding category too. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be trying to push one of these out every week. One for early predictions on who's doing well and not as well in the league and if they can make that jump. And one right before the update, like this video, on a Wednesday, to make our final predictions. So if you want to stay in the roster update loop, make sure to subscribe, and it would be much, much, much appreciated if you dropped a like and comment to help me out in the algorithm so more people can see this video. And you know, more people can start taking Ws when Friday rolls around and there's a roster update.